Have you ever wondered how one man's vision could reshape an entire nation? That's the question we're exploring today as we delve into the turbulent era of the Cultural Revolution in China. A time when one man, Chairman Mao Zedong, sought to redefine the fabric of Chinese society. It's a story of radical change and unyielding belief, of a vision so potent it changed the course of a nation's history. The Cultural Revolution was more than just a political movement, it was a social upheaval, a cultural cataclysm that shook China to its core. It took root in the mid-1960s, spurred by Chairman Mao's ambition to create a classless society. The idea was to eradicate the four olds. Old customs, old culture, old habits, and old ideas, to pave the way for new, socialist ideologies. In pursuit of this vision, Mao launched what he called the Great Proletarian Cultural Revolution. A decade-long period of intense societal change that would see old traditions uprooted, intellectuals persecuted, and millions of lives irrevocably altered. But the Cultural Revolution was more than just the sum of its events. It was a testament to the power of ideology and the lengths to which people will go to realize their vision of a better world. As we journey through this tumultuous period, we'll discuss key events such as the Red Guard's rise to power, the widespread chaos and destruction, the subsequent fall of the Gang of Four, and the aftermath that continues to echo in Chinese society today. It's a complex, often unsettling story, but one that holds valuable lessons about the power and peril of unchecked ideology, so let us dive deep into the waves of this tumultuous period in Chinese history. It all began in 1966 with a single spark, a solitary spark that would soon set ablaze the most populous nation on Earth, altering its cultural landscape forever. This was the year that marked the beginning of the Cultural Revolution in China. The revolution's ignition was none other than the publication of Chairman Mao Zedong's Little Red Book, a pocket-sized collection of his quotes and speeches. The book swiftly became a symbol of Mao's ideology, his vision for a new China. It was read in schools, factories, and farms permeating every corner of the society shaping minds and fueling fervor. But the revolution wasn't just about a book, it was about a vision, a radical one, a vision to purge the remnants of capitalist and traditional elements from Chinese society. Mao sought a seismic cultural shift, a new society that would be stripped of its old values, its old ways. The revolution was his means to achieve this. And so, the Red Guards were initiated. Composed primarily of students, the Red Guards were the vanguard of the revolution. Armed with the Little Red Book and Mao's vision, they were tasked with rooting out the Four Olds old customs, old culture, old habits, and old ideas. They were the foot soldiers in Mao's war against the past. The Cultural Revolution was not just a political movement. It was a social upheaval, a cultural cataclysm. It sought to redefine what it meant to be Chinese, to reshape the nation's identity from the ground up. But revolutions are never simple. They are complex, they are messy, and they are often brutal. The Cultural Revolution was no exception. It was a time of intense struggle, of violence, and of great upheaval, but it was also a time of change, of transformation, and of rebirth. And thus, the flame of revolution was ignited. And like all flames, it consumed and transformed everything in its path. It left in its wake a new China, forever altered by the heat of revolution. But that's a story for the next scene. The wave of revolution didn't just sweep through the cities, it reached every corner of the nation. This wave, the Cultural Revolution, was not confined to urban landscapes. It permeated the vast countryside, the remote villages, and the isolated hamlets. It was a tidal surge of change that ebbed and flowed across the length and breadth of China. This was a revolution that was not just political or economic, it was cultural. It sought to reshape the very fabric of Chinese society. Its architects aimed to uproot the old and plant the seeds of the new. To achieve this, they mobilized the youth, the very future of the nation, as their foot soldiers. These young men and women, the Red Guards, were the agents of this wave of change. The Red Guards were not just ordinary students, they were the torchbearers of Mao's ideology. They spread his gospel, his thoughts, his vision across the country. They were not just followers of Mao, they were his disciples, they believed in his cause, and were ready to lay down their lives for it. Their role in spreading Mao's ideology cannot be overstated. They held rallies, organized marches, and distributed propaganda. They were not just passive observers but active participants in this transformative period. Their actions left an indelible mark on the society. But what was the effect of all this? It was a time of upheaval, of radical change. 
It was a time when society was turned upside down. Old customs, traditions and beliefs were challenged and discarded. New values and norms were embraced. It was a time of confusion, but also of hope. It was a time when a new China was being born, yet this wave of revolution was not without its consequences. It led to violence, chaos and suffering. It fractured communities, tore apart families and upended lives. It was a time of great turmoil, a time of great change. No stone was left unturned, no corner untouched. This was the wave of change that was the Cultural Revolution. It was a time that reshaped China, a time that left a lasting legacy. It was a time that will forever be etched in the annals of history. The revolution was not just a political movement, it was a storm that shook the very foundation of Chinese society. We now turn our attention to the peak of the Cultural Revolution, a period that saw the escalation of societal unrest to levels that were previously unimaginable. The Cultural Revolution, a socio-political movement that took place from 1966 to 1976, was a time of intense conflict and widespread violence. It was during this period that the Chinese society experienced the height of chaos, as the revolution gained momentum and the Red Guards, a group of radical students, took center stage. The Red Guards, armed with the ideology of the Cultural Revolution and the support of Mao Zedong, the then chairman of the Communist Party of China, unleashed a wave of violence that swept across the nation. Anything and anyone that was perceived as old, feudal, bourgeois, or counter-revolutionary was a target. From individuals to institutions, nothing was spared, the destruction was not limited to physical violence. The Cultural Revolution also saw an extensive purge within the Communist Party, Many officials were publicly humiliated, imprisoned, or even executed. The purge was ruthless and all-encompassing, sparing no one who was deemed an enemy of the revolution. The revolution also took a heavy toll on China's rich cultural heritage. Cultural artifacts, ancient texts, and historical monuments were destroyed in large numbers. The Red Guards, under the banner of purging the four olds, old customs, old culture, old habits and old ideas, embarked on a cultural genocide that left a deep scar on the country's cultural landscape. The chaos and turmoil that ensued were not just physical but psychological as well. The social fabric was torn apart as trust was eroded and fear took hold. Neighbor turned against neighbor, students denounced their teachers, and children reported their parents, all in the name of revolution. Truly, it was a time of chaos and turmoil. The Cultural Revolution left a profound impact on Chinese society, an impact that continues to reverberate even today. However, every storm must eventually pass. And so it was with the Cultural Revolution in China. The turbulent and chaotic period began to see a hint of resolution towards the close of the 1960s. One of the defining moments that signaled this change was the death of Lin Biao, Mao's right-hand man, and the designated successor to his leadership. The circumstances surrounding Lin's death were shrouded in mystery, but it was widely believed that he perished in a plane crash while attempting to flee China after a failed coup against Mao. This event marked a significant turning point in the Cultural Revolution, as it led to a shift in power dynamics and weakened Mao's stronghold. In response to the escalating chaos and instability, the military, which had until then remained largely neutral, decided to intervene. The People's Liberation Army was deployed across the country to restore order and quell the violent Red Guard factions. This military intervention was a significant step towards re-establishing control and stability within the country. The turning tide of the revolution was not an overnight phenomenon, it was a gradual process marked by several key events and changes. The death of Lin Biao, the military's intervention, and the gradual restoration of order were significant indicators that the revolution was nearing its end. But this was not a simple return to the past. The revolution had deeply transformed Chinese society, and its effects were far-reaching, the old order was gone, replaced by new structures and ideologies. The traditional ways of life were disrupted, and the country had to grapple with the aftermath of this upheaval. In the end, the Cultural Revolution, which started as an attempt to reassert Mao's control and revive revolutionary spirit, spiraled into a decade of chaos and destruction. The tide was turning, but the impact of the revolution was far from over. The next scenes will delve into the aftermath and the lessons learned from this pivotal period in China's history. The storm had passed, but the landscape was forever changed. In the wake of the Cultural Revolution, China found itself standing amidst the ruins of a decade-long upheaval. The once vibrant tapestry of Chinese culture was now marred by the scars of destruction and loss. 
Traditional beliefs, practices, and structures had been uprooted, leaving a void that needed to be filled. The social fabric of the nation had been stretched thin, with trust between people severely eroded. The sent-down youth, the millions of urban young people who were dispatched to rural areas, returned home, carrying with them a new perspective shaped by their experiences. The rural-urban divide had been deepened yet, paradoxically, the seeds of understanding between the two demographics had also been sowed. Economically, the Cultural Revolution had left China on shaky ground. The focus on ideological purity over practical expertise in the workplace had resulted in widespread inefficiency and economic stagnation. The task of rebuilding the economy was monumental, requiring not only the restoration of industrial and agricultural productivity, but also a shift in the mindset of the workforce. Yet, amidst this turmoil, the Cultural Revolution also set the stage for the emergence of modern China. The chaos and disruption had exposed the flaws of the existing system, paving the way for economic and political reforms. The leadership that emerged in the post-revolution era recognized this need for change and steered China onto a new path of development. The Cultural Revolution also left a profound impact on the collective psyche of the Chinese people. The experiences of that era continue to shape their worldview and inform their attitudes towards authority, conformity, and dissent. In the annals of Chinese history, the Cultural Revolution stands as a testament to the power of ideology, the dangers of fanaticism, and the resilience of a people. It serves as a stark reminder of a turbulent past, even as the nation strides forward into the future. The Cultural Revolution left an indelible mark on China, the effects of which are still felt today. Looking back, what can we learn from this turbulent period in history? As we reflect on the Cultural Revolution, we see a time of immense change, conflict and upheaval that affected millions. It serves as a stark reminder of the power of ideology and the havoc it can wreak when left unchecked. The events of the Cultural Revolution were driven by extreme ideological beliefs. It showed us the dangers of fanaticism, and how it can lead to a disregard for individual rights and liberties. When we allow our beliefs to become so unwavering and absolute, we can lose sight of the humanity of others. The Cultural Revolution thus becomes a lesson in the importance of balance, moderation and respect for differing perspectives. This period also underscored the hazards of unchecked authority. When power is concentrated in the hands of a few, with minimal checks and balances, it can easily lead to tyranny. The Cultural Revolution was a testament to the atrocities that can occur when authority is abused and power is wielded without restraint. It highlights the necessity of accountability, transparency, and a system of governance that prevents the concentration of power. The Cultural Revolution is not just a chapter in China's history, it's a part of our global narrative, a story that belongs to all of humanity. It's a cautionary tale that warns us of the dangers of extremism and the abuse of power, but it also offers hope. It shows us the resilience of the human spirit, the ability to endure, to rebuild, to learn, and to grow. In essence, the Cultural Revolution serves as a mirror, reflecting not only our potential for destruction but also our capacity for recovery and progress. It reminds us that we are not merely products of our past, but active participants in shaping our future. It encourages us to question, to learn, and to strive for a world where power is balanced, and diverse perspectives are respected. History after all is not just about remembering the past, but learning from it. Let's ensure that the lessons of the Cultural Revolution continue to enlighten our path as we navigate the complexities of the present and the uncertainties of the future. The Cultural Revolution, a period of great upheaval, change, and lessons learned. How intriguing it has been, navigating the turbulent waters of this remarkable era in Chinese history. A decade-long period that began with the unsettling query of the country's direction and ended with a wave of change that shook the very foundations of Chinese society. The spark that ignited the Cultural Revolution was Chairman Mao Zedong's call for the eradication of bourgeois elements within the society. This ignited a wildfire resulting in the height of chaos where millions of young Red Guards roamed the streets, armed with Mao's little red book and a fervor for revolution. As we delved deeper into this tumultuous period, we saw the turning tide. With the death of Mao and the arrest of the Gang of Four, the Cultural Revolution came to an abrupt end. The aftermath was a society trying to heal from the wounds of a decade-long upheaval, picking up the pieces and attempting to move forward. In reflection and lessons, we delved into the impact of the Cultural Revolution on China and the world. 
The revolution, despite its chaotic nature, brought about significant changes in society, politics and culture. It was a period that saw the rise of a new China, a nation that emerged stronger and more resilient from the ashes of its past. And yet, the Cultural Revolution was not without its lessons. It serves as a stark reminder of the potential consequences of unchecked power, the importance of cultural preservation, and the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. As we summarize this journey, it becomes clear that the Cultural Revolution was a period of great change. It was a time that not only redefined China, but also left an indelible mark on world history. And so we come to the end of our journey through the Cultural Revolution, a time that not only shaped China, but also left an everlasting impact on world history.